Hello Pisces, Sun Moon Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Pisces, today we're going to look at your overall energy as well as your person's overall energy. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. What's the overall energy for Pisces, Sun Moon Rising and Venus? Pisces, we do have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Typically, when I get this card, it can definitely represent uh, holding back. So you could very well be holding back on something that you want to communicate here to someone. Let's look at your person's overall energy. What's the overall energy for the person Pisces is currently connecting with? We do have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And then we also have interesting engagement. And then we also have getting to know each other. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like there's somebody here who's taking a lot of interest in you, Pisces. Um, whoever this person is, this, this could be a friend of yours. Uh, this could be somebody that you're going to find yourself meeting very soon that you will develop a friendship with. Because I'm kind of getting like the two of you developing a friendship with one another first. Uh, is kind of what I'm getting. But whoever this person is that's trying to get close to you or develop a friendship here with you, it could be a friend that's been in your life for quite some time now, Pisces. Or it could just be somebody that you're going to find yourself meeting very soon that's going to try to develop a friendship with you. But there's one thing that I will say is that I kind of feel like this person sees you more than just a friend. They may not communicate that to you right away, but I am kind of getting like an energy of them secretly having a thing for you. Um, yeah, them secretly having a thing here for you is kind of what I'm getting. Let's look at your energy, Pisces, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? Okay, come on. How does Pisces currently view this relationship? So we do have the star. We got the two of pentacles. And then we also have the eight of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, death card as well as the justice card. So it kind of looks like you recently decided um, to bring a situation to an end. Because I am getting uh, an energy of you walking away from something here. Um, and it could very well be a marriage. It could be a relationship. But it looks like you were the one to call it quits here between you and this person. Now, with that being said... Initially, when you ended things here with this person, you know, a lot of you felt like you were making the right decision by ending things here with this person and walking away from this marriage and walking away from this uh, relationship. But it's interesting because now we kind of see you in this overall energy of kind of second guessing yourself just a little bit on whether or not you did make the right decision uh, to end things here between you and this person. It's like you're wondering to yourself, like, did I make the right choice or did I not make the right choice by walking away from this person? Okay, let's look at this person um, to the right of me. Whoever this person is to the right of me, it doesn't feel like the person that you recently decided to walk away from. It feels like somebody else. It feels like somebody um, that could have been in your life for quite some time now. Like I said, it could be a friend that secretly has a thing for you, or it could just be somebody new that you're going to find yourself meeting very soon and they're going to develop a friendship here um, with you, but still secretly finding themselves having a thing for you is kind of what I'm getting. How does this person currently view this relationship? So we have the tower. We have the fool. Yeah, no, this is, I'm sorry, this is somebody that's that that you know. This is somebody who has been around. Now, with that being said, the reason why I'm saying this is because I feel like this person knows that you recently walked away from a marriage or relationship somehow, some way. They know. So like I said, this could be a friend of yours that secretly has a thing for you. Or this could be somebody new that you recently met and you just developed like a friendship with them. Nothing more, nothing less. But I feel like this person knows that you recently walked away uh, from a marriage or a relationship. They know. They know. How does this person feel about Pisces? We have the Magician, we have the Four of Swords, and then we also have the uh, Six of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Swords. So in regards to how this person's currently feeling about you, they basically feel, Pisces, like you're done with this person uh, that you were either married to or in a relationship with. Um, they basically feel like you're, you're, you're serious about moving forward and moving on with your life and never revisiting this connection here between you and this person ever again. How does this person currently view Pisces, though? 
they currently view you, Pisces, as somebody that they can definitely see themselves being in a relationship with. Uh, this person views you as, you know, somebody who's very attractive, somebody who's very, very um, independent on top of that. This person does kind of come off to me as somebody who is a little bit shy. I am definitely getting that, that they're a little bit shy, a little bit shy. I am definitely getting that, but this is somebody who's very interested in you. This is somebody who feels really drawn to you and your overall energy. And now that they're catching wind that you recently walked away from this marriage or this relationship, there's an energy of them wanting to pursue you in a romantic way. I just kind of feel like because they're a little bit shy, um, they're a little bit too nervous to confess to you I guess their feelings for you I also kind of feel like they're kind of taking into consideration the fact that you just walked away from a marriage slash relationship uh so they might feel like you're not necessarily ready just yet um to start dating new people seeing new people you know things of that nature but if it's one thing that I will say is this you're definitely giving them the impression that you're really done with this person from your past and that you're never going to you know revisit this connection ever again they are under the impression that you know you're over them and this could be something that you recently communicated to them you could have told this person actually about this breakup um, and maybe that's how they know um, you could have told them that's it I'm done with this person I want nothing to do with them um, and this is why they have this impression that you're done with this person from your past how does Pisces currently feel? Okay, so we have the world, okay? We have the page of wands, and then we also have the uh, justice card with the seven of wands. So in regards to how you're currently feeling, okay, um, there's, how do I say this? There's an energy of you constantly going back and forth about whether or not you made the right decision or not, Pisces, when it comes down to walking away from this marriage slash relationship that you were once upon a time in. You know, I kind of feel like you have your days where you tend to kind of question whether or not you made the right judgment call here or not. But then I also kind of feel like you have your days where, you know, you, you kind of tell yourself, no, like you made the right decision by walking away. Don't look back. Just keep going. Just keep going. Um, and never revisit this connection ever again. Because I kind of see you constantly going back and forth. Um, between these two energies you know one day you feel like you may have made a mistake and then the next day you kind of feel like no no, no like I made the right decision by walking away from this one um, it's kind of what I'm getting okay what actions will Pisces take towards this person or moving forward it's interesting Pisces um, because I don't feel like you're aware I don't feel like you're aware that you clearly have somebody here uh, in your environment that secretly has a thing here for you. Whoever this person is, um, it's somebody that I feel like you could have told this person to the right of me that you recently walked away from this marriage or this relationship. It's somebody that you talk to. Um, it's somebody that you talk to about um, your relationship with this person uh, that you decided to basically walk away from. Yeah, it's somebody that you talk to a lot about your relationship uh, with this person that you recently decided to walk away from. Now, I don't feel like you're aware that this person secretly has a thing here for you because they're definitely keeping it to themselves. Uh, and I kind of feel like, you know, it has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, they're under the impression you just walked away from a marriage, you just walked away from a relationship. Maybe right now dating somebody new or talking to someone new is probably the furthest thing from your mind. Um... But there is an energy of them wanting to pursue you in a romantic way. They just kind of feel like the timing right now is just not right for all of that. But in regards to how you plan on moving forward, we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And then we also have the uh, Emperor at the bottom of the deck. We do have the Five of Wands. We also have the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Five of Pentacles. So in regards to how you plan on moving forward... Um, Pisces, I, I do see you receiving uh, communication here from someone. Um, whoever this person is that you're receiving uh, communication from, it, it kind of feels like a, a lashing out energy coming from this person in particular. And this could very well be the person that you decided to walk away from. I do want to look a little bit more into this entire situation because I'm kind of getting like an overall energy of somebody kind of like losing their cool, uh, somebody kind of snapping on you is kind of what I'm getting. And like I said, it could very well be the person that you recently decided to walk away from. So I'm wrong with the Five of Swords. Mm. 
We have the Page of Pentacles. We got the Sun. And then ugh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This person that you recently decided to walk away from, they kind of feel some type of way. Okay? They kind of feel some type of way about you deciding to walk away from them um, and leave them is kind of what I'm getting. I am kind of getting like a high and mighty energy coming from this person. They might go as far as to tell you you're never going to find a man like me. You're never going to find a woman like me. Um you know, things like that. You know, I am, like I said, I am kind of getting this high and mighty energy uh, coming from them. Like you'll never find, you'll never find someone like me ever again. You know what I mean? It's kind of what I'm getting here off of this person's uh, energy. Like I said, I feel like this person from your past is resurfacing back up here for you out of the blue, just lashing out at you um, and, and telling you that you're never going to find anybody better than them. Uh, no one's ever going to uh, treat you the way that they treated you, you know, things like that. Uh, with the Five of Wands to the Page of Swords uh, to the Five of Pentacles uh, coming out here, I'm just kind of getting like a whole lot of back and forth going on here um, between you and this person. A whole lot of back and forth going on here. I feel like you're kind of lashing out at them. They're kind of lashing out at you. Um, I kind of feel like, again, this person's going to probably say something to make you feel... How do I say this? I feel like this person might say something to make you feel small or make you feel like you're not good enough. Again, I keep getting this high and mighty energy coming from them. I keep getting this high and mighty energy coming from them. They might say a few hurtful things um, to you because I'm also kind of getting that to Pisces. That They might go as far as to say like a few hurtful things to you. They're just upset, more of the story, uh, that you decided to basically leave them and walk away from them. I also kind of feel like they're going to portray this image uh, like they're happy it's over between the two of you when I don't believe they actually are. Um, their words are not going to match up with their actions, more of the story. They're going to sit here and say, you know, that they're happy that it's over between the two of you. But clearly, if they feel the need that they have to take time out of their day to lash out at you and tell you things like you're never going to find anybody better than me and blah, 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 blah. Like, um, clearly, you know, I think it's safe to say that. Uh, they're not too happy about things coming to an end here between the two of you. What actions will this person take towards Pisces or moving forward? So we do have the two of wands. We also have the moon as well as the queen of swords. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the queen of pentacles to the ten of cups. And then we also have the three of wands. I'm going to be honest, Pisces, this person that's taking a lot of interest in you. Again, it feels like a, it feels like a friend is kind of what I'm getting. Um, and like I said, this could be a friend that's been around for quite some time or a friend that you just recently, you know, met and you developed a friendship here with them. I, I do feel like this person um, is currently dating right now. So I do see a Queen of Swords being in their life. This Queen of Swords in particular, I don't feel like is you. I feel like it's someone else. But this Queen of Swords that's currently in this person's life, um, it, it's not really somebody that they see themselves really moving forward with it's like the more they get to know them the more they're starting to realize yeah like this is not somebody that i see myself moving forward with um they're pretty dead set on you i will say that they're pretty dead set on you um and what they want here with you but with the three of wands there is like a level of waiting on this person's behalf let's see what this person's waiting on tell you more about the uh, three of wands I feel like what this person's waiting on is for you to be ready. It's for you to be ready to start dating new people, talking to new people. It's like this person really wants to give you like your time and your space to like fully like grieve, you know, this divorce or this breakup that transpired here between you and this person. They really do want to give you your time and your space to like heal. You know what I mean? Because they really do think that dating someone new or talking to someone new right now is like the furthest thing from your mind um so the last thing they want to do is is come in and try to push um a relationship upon you knowing what you just went through okay you know I, it's it's safe to say that whoever this person is they're a very very thoughtful individual they're a very thoughtful individual. Like I said, I feel like this person has a queen of swords in their life um, that they're currently talking to slash getting to know. But it's like the more they get to know them, the more they're just like, yeah, this is not somebody I see myself moving forward with. But Pisces, on the other hand, well, that's a different story. You know, they basically view you um, 
they view you as somebody who, like I said, is very independent, somebody who's very career oriented, uh, somebody who has a lot going for themselves, um, you know, somebody who can maintain a household, uh, somebody, you, for some of you, you might be a single mom or a single dad. I am kind of getting that for some of you out there, but they more of the story look at you as somebody that they could basically build with. Somebody that they could basically build with. With this Queen of Swords, they don't necessarily feel like they could really do much with them is kind of what I'm getting, but they're kind of waiting on you. Pisces, believe it or not. They're kind of waiting on you to kind of get over this divorce, get over this breakup. Um, and when they feel like you are fully over this person, that's when I see them coming in and making their move here on you. But it kind of looks like uh, you're you're going to receive communication here from this person from your past. Unfortunately, I keep, I keep getting this high and mighty energy uh, coming from them. I'm also kind of getting like an overall energy of somebody kind of looking down on you, which I'm not a huge fan of either. It's like this person is going to sit here and make you feel like, how do I say this? Like you just made a terrible mistake by walking away from someone like them. You know what I mean? It's kind of what I'm getting. This person might make a lot of money. There's a possibility that this person might make a lot of money. This person might run a business or own multiple businesses. Um... That's a possibility. This person kind of gives me the impression of somebody who hides behind materialistic things is kind of what I'm getting. But I just don't like this energy of them making you feel small and like you're not good enough. And I just, I'm not fucking feeling it, to be completely honest. I'm not feeling it. I feel like this person is going to say like a few hurtful things to you, um, Pisces, unfortunately. What's going to end up happening here? Listen, at the end of the day, this, this masculine energy over here um, that, that's going off on you and, and, and telling you you're making a terrible mistake by leaving me, you know, that stuff. Deep down inside, they don't want you to go anywhere. Deep down inside, they don't want to lose you. I just feel like they're doing a very... I'll be honest, I feel like this person is doing a very shitty job at trying to get you back. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, I feel like by you walking away from them, like, it really did, like, hurt this person's ego is kind of what I'm getting. And this is why they're reacting this way. Because deep down inside, it's like, they don't really want you to go anywhere. They don't really want to lose you. And instead of them saying, like, Pisces, like, I don't want to lose you. Like, I'm sorry. And please don't leave me, like, please, can we talk about this, please, can we please work this out, like, no, you know, it, it looks like what they're deciding to, to do is just sit there and be like, ah, I don't need you anyways, and, you know, you're, you're making a terrible mistake, you're never gonna find anybody like me, never, you know what I mean, like, you, they might even go as far as to, like, say, like, again, a few rude things to you, like, again, I keep getting this, this, this energy of them, making you seem small and not worthy and you know all this extra stuff but I just I feel like you really did hurt this person's ego Pisces I do by you walking away like you really did hurt this person's ego and this is why they're reacting this way you will never find anybody like me ever again you know what I mean um that's kind of what I'm getting uh Pisces so it, it just kind of looks like um you guys are just going to basically go back and forth is kind of what I was getting here um, with one another. Like I said, deep down inside, they don't want you to go. Deep down inside, they love you. They don't want to lose you and what they've built with you thus far. But are they going to sit here and communicate all of that? No, because their ego is hurting right now because you decided to walk away from them. Um, so, yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.